Hi everyone! So today I have for you guys just like an updated version of my what's in like my mini makeup bag sort of thing. I know that a lot of you guys have been loving that video lately sort of seeing what I keep with me whenever I'm like going places and that. This one isn't quite as mini as my last one but it's not everything I would take every time I'm like traveling or something. This is more or less the type of stuff I take with me most days because I'm staying at my boyfriend's house or I just keep it all together so it's ready to to go for me to use. This contains my holy grail products pretty much so. As usual if you do like these types of videos please give this video a thumbs up so I know. I um, would love it if you guys leave me like comment down below let me know like the type of stuff you guys keep in like your little makeup bags and what you take everywhere and what your holy grail products are at the moment. If you are new here welcome to my channel I'm Tan if I haven't met you yet. And if you are new here and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell to know when I'm going to be uploading next. And yeah, let's just get on with the video so you guys can see what I have in here. So quickly, this bag I got from Typo is just like a little pink one with some like gold writing saying makeup first, then champagne. I love it. It's cute. It holds what I need every day so it's the perfect sort of size one for that and as you can see it actually holds like a decent ish amount of stuff I can't like keep eyeshadow palettes not in it obviously but I don't really wear eyeshadow every day so it's sort of like my everyday makeup thing I'm just going to start grabbing stuff out and showing you guys what's actually in here so first I have my Kiko face brush this one I always use just to like pop on my hula bronzer it's a handy little brush it's soft I love it I've been using it for years next thing is just like a basic flat eyeshadow brush I usually use this just to like put on highlight above my eye underneath my eyebrow I usually use this to put my highlight underneath my brow. It's just like the right size. It's like small and so cute. This doesn't have any brand name. I got it in a pack from Forever New. So next thing, eyelash curler. I don't go anywhere without my eyelash curler. I love it. You all know that. This is just one I grabbed from Napoleon Purtis. Next thing I have is this Luxe Define Crease Brush from Zoeva. I usually use this to like pop highlight on my cheekbones, on my nose, cupid's bow, above my brow that sort of thing. If you've seen my everyday makeup routine then you would have seen how I use this little brush. Next thing is another one that isn't brand named or anything. This is just like a angled brush. I use it for my contour. I got it in the same pack as that I brush from Forever New. I mean you don't have to use big name brushes to get a good result. This one was so cheap and is one of my favourite brushes that I own at all. Last tool I always keep with me is a very dirty beauty blender. I use beauty blenders to put my foundation on. It's just what I prefer to use over a brush so I've always got one with me. This one, it could be dirtier. This one's my clean one, not my other one. Okay, that's just the little tools that I take with me. I don't keep things like a primer or a setting spray in this makeup bag because I'm either at my house or my boyfriend's house and I keep actually a spare primer and setting spray at his house so that I don't have to take those things with me seeing me I have so many of them. First thing I have is my Better Than Sex mascara. I don't need to talk about how much I love this mascara. You guys will know how much I love this mascara if you've been watching my videos for a little while. And if you haven't, feel free to watch some of my videos and you guys will see exactly what I'm on about, how much I actually love this. I also keep my Anastasia Brow Wiz in there. I use the taupe one at the moment. That's just what I'm using at the moment to do my brows because I'm liking a little bit more of a natural look for an everyday sort of makeup. I also keep my Becca Highlighter. This one is my Moonstone one. This is the one I just use every day. It's kind of like it easy color that goes with me. My champagne pop one doesn't always go with my foundation on the day or the makeup look I'm going for so I just carry this one with me everywhere. Next thing is my Too Faced Chocolate Soule bronzer. This one is in medium deep. This is what I use as my contour. I love this one. It just seems to go well for me as a contour shade. It goes on really easy. I love Too Faced products. I've mentioned that before. So I always carry this with me. It's easier than carrying around like my contour kit because that's quite big and probably wouldn't fit in my makeup bag. I also have my Bobbi Brown mascara. It's the intensifying longwear mascara. It depends on the day to whether I use just this or I use this and my Better Than Sex mascara. If I use my Better Than Sex mascara then this one I tend to use on just my 
lower lashes but lately I've been using this on both my top and bottom just for a little bit more of like a natural eye makeup look. Next thing I have is my brow setting what do they call it? Brow setters. Next thing I have is my clear brow gel. This is the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. It's just a clear brow gel. Simple, it's what I use to set my brows. I don't think I really need to talk too much more about that. I also have my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I've been using this for three or four years I've had this one for and I've only just hit pan on it like three months ago, four months ago. It's been longer than that. But I really need to get a new one. I've been using this for so long. I actually have used this to set my foundation with at one point because my foundation was way too light. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know that I use this quite a lot. The foundation I tend to take around with me is my YSL Touche Clart one. This one is in B40. I didn't actually use this on my face today because it is ever so slightly too dark right now for me but this tends to be the one I actually do take with me anyway because I usually put on like a fake tan or something and this one actually goes on the best for my skin. I don't know what it is about it but out of all the foundations this one seems to sit the best on my skin. It covers so well on my skin and it lasts a lot longer than any other foundation that I've used and of course it does it is probably the most expensive foundation that I own. I've only got like two more things to go guys so just bear with me. For concealer I usually keep with me my Naked Skin Concealer. This one is in Light Neutral. This is just what I put under my eyes. I don't tend to conceal anywhere else at the moment. Would that bird shut up? It's too hot to have my window closed. I'm sorry and if I put my fan on then it's too noisy so. He's got friends. Shut up! Can't you go to another tree? Please go to another tree. At the moment, this is probably my favorite concealer. It tends to like brighten up under my eyes the best and sits on my foundation, well, any foundation that I use the best. I used to use my Dior one all the time, but that one doesn't always sit well on foundation and can look quite cakey after a little while, whereas this one I found hasn't done that. So yeah, this is the one I tend to carry around with me. It's quite battered from while Ben and I were away. Probably could do with the new one because I think it may have actually opened in my bag because I did find concealer everywhere through my bag. And the last thing I take with me everywhere is my Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. This is the only powder that I use. It's amazing and it makes my skin look so flawless. I'm so glad that I found this. And surprisingly considering how often I use it, I don't even think I'm halfway through it yet. I've used a, a ridiculous amount of time on me and my friends and family. Yeah, it's probably about halfway. If you haven't got your hands on this loose powder, I recommend it. It is worth the money. It literally just like blows everything under my eyes out. It's so pretty. And it's got like a little bit of a colour to it so it's not going to get like a flashback on it like a lot of white translucent powders tend to do. Oh my god that bird is back! I'm so close to being done and this bird is just... I will not let a bird defeat me right now. I am so close to finishing this video. Okay, the birds have shut up, so let me just quickly finish this. So that is everything I have in my little makeup bag. Let's see, empty. Nothing. If you do like these types of videos, please give this video a thumbs up so I know. And as I said before, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so you see when I'm uploading next. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know sort of like the things that you guys like to keep in your little makeup bags. What's your everyday holy grail products because this is mine. These are my loves. There's a couple of other things but this is pretty much it. This is all I really need. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! I actually have what's in my makeup bag that I take with me. Does that make sense? I don't always wear makeup when I go out and about everywhere, but when I do, I like to take